So the biggest story today here in Ghana is the fact that the Central Bank Governor Dr. Abdul Nasir Isayaku has resigned. Now, the news of his resignation broke yesterday evening after he tendered in his resignation to government. Now, this um, story um, has been brewing for some time now. You remember that um, when the new government took office in um, January this year, there were a lot of conversations over his position his position as a governor who was appointed by the then president, uh, President Mahama, came under scrutiny because uh, a number, a section of players in the industry had asserted that he may not be able to push the agenda of the new government. And while others said if he's been professional with his work, he should be allowed to stay on. Now, you remember that the governor himself was appointed just um, about a year ago, actually in April of 2016. He took over from um, Dr. Henry Wampa, who also resigned, um, citing personal issues at the time. At the time, there were issues to do with the DKM, the CD, etc. So Dr. Wampa took an early retirement and then Dr. Abdul um, Isayako came in. Now, when he came in, he still had to battle uh, many challenges, of course, that were facing the economy that were under his purview. For example, rising inflation, for example, uh, depreciating CD, for example, challenges in the microfinance industry, and many others. But um, there have been a lot of discussions to whether he, the reasons he gave for his resignation really was the case. Now, he had cited that he resigned because it, it was a personal reason, but the, the discussion so far around that uh, he wasn't given the opportunity to work. He was having challenges with a new administration who didn't want to work with him. Um, our sources tell us, indeed, there were issues with that um, whether he could still stay on having been appointed by another government. But let's also not forget that um, per the new BOG Act or the new the BOG Act, his, his office is protected and is supposed to be an independent one. The development has brought to question over whether we are going by the rule which says that the Bank of Ghana governor must not be removed by um, a government he should voluntarily leave or um, resign, etc. So those questions have also uh, um, um, been raised. Now, who takes over from him? He will be replaced, we are told, by um, a former director of research of the Bank of Ghana, somebody who's been in the system before. He's called Mr. Ernest um, Addison. Now, currently, he works with the African Development Bank. He is also an uh, economist. He actually holds uh, a doctorate in philosophy and, uh, and economics. So somebody who's already been in, with the Bank of Ghana and also has the background as in being an economist. So this and all that coming up, just be, uh, stick to City TV. My name is Vivian Kai Loko. Thank you for watching.